Hello everyone. In this video, I am diving into an exciting and critically important field, environmental study. This discipline is all about understanding our environment and how we as human interact with it. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of what environmental study is, its scope, its importance and how it is connected with various disciplines to address global challenges. Let us begin with our basic introduction. Environmental study is the comprehensive study of our environment and its component. It examines physical, chemical and biological aspects to understand how nature functions. But why this important? Well, everything around us, air, water, soil, plants, animal and even human activity is interconnected. This field helps us understand the complex relationship between the living organism and their surrounding. Environmental study covers a wide range of topics including ecosystem, biodiversity, climate change, resource management, pollution and sustainability. In short, environmental study is all about understanding, protecting and improving the world we live in. Let us explore more in the upcoming slides. Scope of Environmental Study Environmental study is a broad and multidisciplinary field that helps us understand and protect our planet. Let us break it down into key area, ecology and ecosystem. This is all understanding how living organisms interact with each other and their surrounding. From tiny microbes in the soil to large forest, ecosystem form the foundation of life on earth. Biodiversity Conservation With thousands of species disappearing every year, protecting planet, plant, animals and their habitat is crucial for maintaining ecological balance. Resource Management Our planet provides us with water, forest, minerals and soil. But how do we ensure they last for future generations? So, sustainable management is the key. Pollution control. Pollution affect the air we breathe, the water we drink and the soil we depend on. So, this field focus on the reducing air, water, soil and noise pollution to create a healthier environment. Next is renewable energy. With climate change on the rise, we need a shift to cleaner energy sources like solar, wind and hydro power to reduce our dependence on fossil fuel. Environmental policies and law Government play a vital role in protecting nature. From international agreement to local policies, environmental laws ensure sustainable development and conservation. Waste management With increased waste production, we must develop strategies to reduce, recycle and safely dispose of solid, liquid and hazardous material. Climate change and global warming Rising temperature, melting ice cap and extreme weather event are alarming sign. Understanding the causes, effect and solution to is essential to combating climate change. Sustainable development the ultimate goal is to balance economic growth and environmental conservation, so ensuring a better future for all. The next topic is why is environmental study is so important. Let us explore its four major benefits. The first one is raising awareness. One of the biggest challenges we are facing today is the lack of knowledge about environmental issues. Environmental study educate us about environmental problems and encourage us to take responsible action. Promoting sustainable development. We all want economic growth and progress, but at what cost? Environmental study teach us how to meet our needs without harming future generation. It promotes using renewable energy, reducing waste and conserving resources for a balanced and sustainable future. Conservation of Biodiversity Every species play a role maintaining a healthy ecosystem. 
Studying the environmental helps us understand the importance of wildlife, forests, and ocean, ensuring we protect them from existing and extinction. Policy development. Environmental studies support the creation of laws and policies that helps control pollution, protect natural habitats, and fight climate change. Strong policies lead to a healthier and safer planet planet for everyone. Next is multidisciplinary nature of environmental study. Environmental study combines multiple subjects to help us understand and solve environmental problem. Let us break it down. The first one is ecology. This is the heart of environmental study. It focuses on an organism ecosystem and biodiversity helping us understand how life interact within the environment geography it study natural resources landform and climate changes helping us see the bigger picture of our earth chemistry the environment is full of chemical reaction chemistry help us analyzing pollutant study their impact and developing green technology to protect our planet physics energy flows heat transfer and climate system all follow physical principle physics explain how environmental process like global warming ocean current and solar energy work engineering and technology innovation plays a key role in sustainability engineer develop renewable energy pollution control and waste management solution to create a greener future political science and law laws and policies are crucial for environmental protection this field study environmental laws treaties and governance that helps safeguard our planet the last one is economic sustainability is not just about environment it is also about managing resources wisely economics focuses on sustainable economic practice resource allocation and environmental impact assessment so environmental study brings together science technology law and economics to help us understand and protect our world it is truly an interdisciplinary field with real world impact the next topic is levels of organization in environmental science let us explore this level step by step the first one is individual or say organism the smallest unit of ecological study focus on a single living organism whether it is a plant or an animal or even a microbe for example a single tree a fish a human or even a bacterium they are all individual at this level we study how an organism survive grows and adapt to its environment number 2 population a population is a group of individual of same species living in the same area at the same time example a herd of deer a school of fish or a colony of an ant population interact with their surrounding and play a vital role in maintaining ecosystem balance number 3 community a community consists of multiple population of different species living and interacting in the same area example a forest community which include trees birds insect and fungus or a coral reef community where corals fish and algae coexist at this level we study how species interact whether through competition predation or maybe symbiosis number 4 ecosystem an ecosystem includes both living organism that is biotic factor and their physical environment which is abiotic factor example a pond ecosystem or desert ecosystem or a rainforest rainforest ecosystem ecosystem help us understand how energy flows and how different species depend on each other for survival number 5 is biomes a biomes is a large geographic area with similar climate condition vegetation and wildlife 
example tropical rainforest desert tundras grassland biomes shape the type of life that exist in a particular region and the last one is biosphere finally the biosphere is the global sum of all biomes it includes every living organism on earth and their interaction with the atmosphere land and water in simpler terms the biosphere is our entire planet earth so everything in the biosphere is interconnected meaning changes in one part of the environment can impact the whole planet now let's take a quick look at all six level of organization in environmental let us take a journey through time to explore the origin of biosphere formation of earth it all began near about 4.6 billion years ago when earth was formed from cosmic dust and gas the early earth was a hostile place filled with volcanic eruption extreme heat and no oxygen the atmosphere was made up of hydrogen methane and ammonia making it inhospitable for life but things were about to change emergence of life scientists believe that first form of of life appeared in hydrothermal vent deep in the ocean or in shallow warm water these early organism were anaerobic prokaryote tiny single celled life form that survive without oxygen they obtain energy from chemical paving the way for the evolution of more complex life and then a game change take place photosynthesis Around 2.7 billion years ago a group of bacteria called cyanobacteria evolved the ability to photosynthesize using sunlight to produce energy In the process they release oxygen into the atmosphere creating the great oxidation event This was a major turning point oxygen built up in the air allowing the evolution of aerobic organism evolution of a complex life over billions of year life diversified and evolved simple single celled organism gave rise to multicellular life plants emerged followed by animal reptile birds and mammals and eventually through a millions of year of evolution humans appeared the modern biosphere today Earth biosphere is a complex interconnected system driven by energy from the sun. Life exists everywhere from deep ocean to high mountain from icy tundras to dense rainforest. Natural processes regulate the environment keeping ecosystem in balance. Factor affecting the distribution of life. The distribution of life on earth is not random. it is shaped by several environmental factors let us explore them one by one the first one is temperature temperature plays a crucial role in where organism can live some species survive in extreme heat like desert reptile while other thrive in freezing cold like penguins in antarctica every organism has a temperature range in which it can function efficiently next is moisture level water availability is a key factor in survival desert with limited water support only drought resistant species while rainforest with abundant moisture are home to diverse plant and animal sunlight sunlight is essential photosynthesis which power the entire food chain areas with more sunlight tend to have richer plant life while deep sea zone with limited light have organism adapted to darkness soil type not all soil is the same some soil are fertile supporting forest and agriculture 
while other like sandy or rocky soil limited plant can grow soil composition affect which plant can grow and in turn which animal can survive in an area elevation and topography life varies at different elevation at sea level we find lushes vegetation while mountain peaks have harsher condition and fewer species even in the ocean deep sea creature had adapted to extreme pressure and low temperature so the distribution of life on earth is shaped by these natural factor creating the beautiful diversity we see today distribution of life on land life on land varies based on climate rainfall and temperature let us look at some major biomes the first one is forest biomes these areas receive heavy rainfall and have a warm climate making them rich in biodiversity millions of species thrive in forest from towering tree to tiny insect example amazon congo south asian forest next is grassland found in region with moderate rainfall these landscape are dominated by grasses with a very few trees they support herbivores like zebra bison and antelope example africa savanna america and eurasian steppes desert characterized by low rainfall and extreme temperature hot during the day and freezing at night despite harsh condition desert are home to unique species like cactus camel and scorpion example sahara desert thar and atacama desert tundra found in polar region these area have freezing temperature and minimal vegetation animal here like polar bears and arctic foxes have adapted to survive in harsh condition example arctic tundra antarctic tundra and alpine tundra next is distribution of life in water water covers over 70% of earth surface making aquatic ecosystem crucial for life the first one is marine ecosystem this include ocean sea and coral reefs home to a vast range of species from tiny plankton to massive whale example great barrier reef pacific ocean atlantic ocean the second is fresh water ecosystem found in lakes river and ponds these ecosystem are vital for drinking water agriculture and aquatic life example amazon river great lakes and ganga's river next is distribution of life in air the air is not just empty space it support many form of life first one is birds from eagle soaring high to hummingbird flapping rapidly birds depend on air current and diverse habitat for survival insects many insects like butterfly and bees spend most of their life flying and play a crucial role in pollination microorganism some bacteria and fungal spore float in the atmosphere traveling long distance with the wind the life on earth exists everywhere on land water or even on the air each environment has unique condition that shape the diversity of life every ecosystem play a vital role in maintaining earth balance now i end this video here make sure to like and subscribe if you find the content helpful stay tuned for the next video on environmental study thanks for watching